Cyrillic Script The Cyrillic Script is a writing system used for various alphabets across Eurasia, particularly in Eastern Europe, the Caucasus, Central Asia, and North Asia. It is based on the early Cyrillic alphabet developed during the 9th century AD at the Preslav Literary School in the First Bulgarian Empire. It is the basis of alphabets used in various languages, especially those of Orthodox Slavic origin, and non Slavic languages influenced by Russian. Around 252 million people in Eurasia use it as the official alphabet for their national languages, with Russia counting for about half of them. With the accession of Bulgaria to the European Union on January 1, 2007, Cyrillic became the third official script of the European Union, following Latin and Greek. Cyrillic is derived from the Greek uncial script, augmented by letters from the older glagolitic alphabet, including some ligatures. These additional letters were used for Old Church Slavonic sounds not found in Greek. The script is named in honor of the two Byzantine brothers, Saints Cyril and Methodius, who created the glagolitic alphabet earlier on. Modern scholars believe that Cyrillic was developed and formalized by early disciples of Cyril and Methodius. In the early 18th century, the Cyrillic script used in Russia was heavily reformed by Peter the Great, who had recently returned from his grand embassy in Western Europe. The new letter forms became closer to those of the Latin alphabet, several archaic letters were removed and several letters were personally designed by Peter the Great, such as, which was inspired by the Latin R. West European typography culture was also adopted. Cyrillic script spread throughout the East Slavic and some South Slavic territories, being adopted for writing local languages, such as Old East Slavic. Its adaptation to local languages produced a number of Cyrillic alphabets, discussed hereafter. Capital and lowercase letters were not distinguished in old manuscripts. Yeri was originally a ligature of your and I, plus equals. Eotation was indicated by ligatures formed with the letter, not an ancestor of modern ya, which is derived from, ligature of and. Sometimes different letters were used interchangeably, for example equals equals, as were typographical variants like equals. There were also commonly used ligatures like equals. The letters also had numeric values, based not on Cyrillic alphabetical order, but inherited from the letter's Greek ancestors. The early Cyrillic alphabet is difficult to represent on computers. Many of the letter forms differed from those of modern Cyrillic, varied a great deal in manuscripts, and changed over time. Few fonts include glyphs sufficient to reproduce the alphabet. In accordance with Unicode policy, the standard does not include letter form variations or ligatures found in manuscript sources unless they can be shown to conform to the Unicode definition of a character. The Unicode 5.1 standard, released on April 4, 2008, greatly improves computer support for the early Cyrillic and the modern church Slavonic language. In Microsoft Windows, the Sago UI user interface font is notable for having complete support for the archaic Cyrillic letters since Windows 8. The development of Cyrillic typography passed directly from the medieval stage to the late Baroque, without a Renaissance phase as in Western Europe. Late medieval Cyrillic letters still found on many icon inscriptions today, show a marked tendency to be very tall and narrow, with strokes often shared between adjacent letters. Peter the Great, Tsar of Russia, mandated the use of westernized letter forms in the early 18th century. Over time, these were largely adopted in the other languages that use the script. Thus, unlike the majority of modern Greek fonts that retained their own set of design principles for lowercase letters, such as placement of serifs, the shapes of stroke ends, and stroke thickness rules, although Greek capital letters do use Latin design principles, modern Cyrillic fonts are much the same as modern Latin fonts of the same font family. The development of some Cyrillic computer typefaces from Latin once has also contributed to the visual Latinization of Cyrillic type. Cyrillic uppercase and lowercase letter forms are not as differentiated as in Latin typography. Upright Cyrillic lowercase letters are essentially small capitals with exceptions, Cyrillic, and adopted Western lowercase shapes, lowercase is typically designed under the influence of Latin, lowercase, and are traditional handwritten forms, although a good quality Cyrillic typeface will still include separate small caps glyphs. Cyrillic fonts, as well as Latin ones, have Roman and Italic types, practically all popular modern fonts include parallel sets of Latin and Cyrillic letters, where many glyphs, uppercase as well as lowercase, are simply shared by both. However, the native font terminology in most Slavic languages, for example, in Russian, does not use the words Roman and Italic in this sense. Instead, the nomenclature follows German naming patterns.
as in Latin typography, a sans serif face may have a mechanically sloped oblique type, sloped, or slanted type, instead of italic. Similarly to Latin fonts, italic and cursive types of many Cyrillic letters, typically lowercase, uppercase only for handwritten or stylish types, are very different from their upright Roman types. In certain cases, the correspondence between uppercase and lowercase glyphs does not coincide in Latin and Cyrillic fonts for example, italic Cyrillic is the lowercase counterpart of not a. A bold face type is called, semi-bold type, because there existed fully bold-faced shapes that have been out of use since the beginning of the 20th century. A bold italic combination, bold slanted, does not exist for all font families. In standard Serbian, as well as in Macedonian, some italic and cursive letters are allowed to be different to resemble more to the handwritten letters. The regular, upright, shapes are generally standardized among languages and there are no officially recognized variations. The following table shows the differences between the upright and italic Cyrillic letters of the Russian alphabet. Italic forms significantly different from their upright analogs, or especially confusing to users of a Latin alphabet, are highlighted. Note, in some fonts or styles, lowercase italic Cyrillic, may look like Latin and lowercase italic Cyrillic, may look exactly like a capital italic, only smaller. Among others, Cyrillic is the standard script for writing the following languages. The Cyrillic script has also been used for languages of Alaska, Slavic Europe, except for Western Slavic and some Southern Slavic, the Caucasus, Siberia, and the Russian Far East. The first alphabet derived from Cyrillic was Abor, used for the Komi language. Other Cyrillic alphabets include the Malatsov alphabet for the Komi language and various alphabets for Caucasian languages. Since the script was conceived and popularized by the followers of Cyril and Methodius, rather than by Cyril and Methodius themselves, its name denotes homage rather than authorship. The name Cyrillic often confuses people who are not familiar with the script's history, because it does not identify a country of origin, in contrast to the Greek alphabet. Among the general public, it is often called the Russian alphabet, because Russian is the most popular and influential alphabet based on the script. Some Bulgarian intellectuals, notably Stefan Zanef, have expressed concern over this, and have suggested that the Cyrillic script be called the Bulgarian alphabet instead, for the sake of historical accuracy. In Bulgarian, Macedonian, Russian, and Serbian, the Cyrillic alphabet is also known as Ispuka, derived from the old names of the first two letters of most Cyrillic alphabets, just as the term alphabet came from the first two Greek letters alpha and beta. The Cyrillic script was created in the first Bulgarian Empire. Its first variant, the early Cyrillic alphabet, was created at the pre-Slav literary school. It is derived from the Greek unseal script letters, augmented by ligatures and consonants from the older glagolitic alphabet for sounds not found in Greek. Tradition holds that Cyrillic and Glagolitic were formalized either by Saints Cyril and Methodius who brought Christianity to the southern Slavs, or by their disciples. Paul Cubberley posits that although Cyril may have codified and expanded Glagolitic, it was his students in the first Bulgarian Empire under Tsar Simeon the Great that developed Cyrillic from the Greek letters in the 890s as a more suitable script for church books. Later Cyrillic spread among other Slavic peoples, as well as among non-Slavic vlachs. Cyrillic and Glagolitic were used for the Church Slavonic language, especially the Old Church Slavonic variant. Hence expressions such as is the 10th Cyrillic letter typically refer to the order of the Church Slavonic alphabet, not every Cyrillic alphabet uses every letter available in the script. The Cyrillic script came to dominate Glagolitic in the 12th century. The literature produced in the Old Bulgarian language soon spread north and became the lingua franca of the Balkans and Eastern Europe, where it came to also be known as Old Church Slavonic. The alphabet used for the modern Church Slavonic language in Eastern Orthodox and Eastern Catholic rites still resembles early Cyrillic. However, over the course of the following millennium, Cyrillic adapted to changes in spoken language, developed regional variations to suit the features of national languages, and was subjected to academic reform and political decrees. A notable example of such linguistic reform can be attributed to Vik Stefanovic Karadzic who updated the Serbian Cyrillic alphabet by removing certain graphemes no longer represented in the vernacular, and introducing graphemes specific to Serbian, i.e., distancing it from Church Slavonic alphabet in use prior to the reform. Today, many languages in the Balkans, Eastern Europe, and Northern Eurasia are written in Cyrillic alphabets.
Notes A number of languages written in a Cyrillic alphabet have also been written in a Latin alphabet, such as Azerbaijani, Uzbek, Serbian and Romanian, in the Republic of Moldova until 1989, in Romania throughout the 19th century. After the disintegration of the Soviet Union in 1991, some of the former republics officially shifted from Cyrillic to Latin. The transition is complete in most of Moldova, except the breakaway region of Transnistria, where Moldovan Cyrillic is official, Turkmenistan, and Azerbaijan. Uzbekistan still uses both systems, and Kazakhstan has officially begun a transition from Cyrillic to Latin, scheduled to be complete by 2025. The Russian government has mandated that Cyrillic must be used for all public communications in all federal subjects of Russia, to promote closer ties across the federation. This act was controversial for speakers of many Slavic languages, for others, such as Chechen and Ingush speakers, the law had political ramifications. For example, the separatist Chechen government mandated a Latin script which is still used by many Chechens. Those in the diaspora especially refuse to use the Chechen Cyrillic alphabet, which they associate with Russian imperialism. Standard Serbian uses both the Cyrillic and Latin scripts. Cyrillic is nominally the official script of Serbia's administration according to the Serbian constitution, however, the law does not regulate scripts in standard language, or standard language itself by any means. In practice the scripts are equal, with Latin being used more often in a less official capacity. The Zhuang alphabet, used between the 1950s and 1980s in portions of the People's Republic of China, used a mixture of Latin, phonetic, numeral-based, and Cyrillic letters. The non-Latin letters, including Cyrillic, were removed from the alphabet in 1982 and replaced with Latin letters that closely resembled the letters they replaced. There are various systems for romanization of Cyrillic text, including transliteration to convey Cyrillic spelling in Latin letters, and transcription to convey pronunciation. Standard Cyrillic to Latin transliteration systems include See also Romanization of Belarusian, Bulgarian, Kyrgyz, Russian, Macedonian, and Ukrainian. Representing other writing systems with Cyrillic letters is called Cyrillization. As of Unicode version 11.0 Cyrillic letters, including national and historical alphabets, are encoded across several blocks. The characters in the range U plus 0400 to U plus 045F are basically the characters from ISO 8859 to 5 moved upward by 864 positions. Stop the characters in the range U plus 0460 to U plus 0489 are historic letters, not used now. The characters in the range U plus 0488 to U plus 052F are additional letters for various languages that are written with Cyrillic script. Unicode as a general rule does not include accented Cyrillic letters. A few exceptions include To indicate stressed or long vowels, combining diacritical marks can be used after the respective letter, for example, etc. Some languages, including Church Slavonic, are still not fully supported. Unicode 5.1 released on April 4, 2008, introduces major changes to the Cyrillic blocks. Revisions to the existing Cyrillic blocks, and the addition of Cyrillic Extended A, 2-0, 2-DFF, and Cyrillic Extended B, A640, A69F, significantly improve support for the early Cyrillic alphabet, Abkhaz, Aleut, Chuvash, Kurdish, and Moksha. Punctuation for Cyrillic text is similar to that used in European Latin alphabet languages. Other character encoding systems for Cyrillic. Each language has its own standard keyboard layout, adopted from typewriters. With the flexibility of computer input methods, there are also transliterating or phonetic slash homophonic keyboard layouts made for typists who are more familiar with other layouts, like the common English QWERTY keyboard. When practical Cyrillic keyboard layouts or fonts are unavailable, Computer users sometimes use transliteration or look like Volapük encoding to type in languages that are normally written with the Cyrillic alphabet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.